The issue that we're looking at is um, can we use anhydrous ammonia, which is the most cost-effective nitrogen fertilizer that we have, can we take it and use it later in the, in the growing season on wheat to top dress? Traditionally, we've used it for applying before planting, but we've not been able to top dress because the equipment that has not really been available to allow us to do that without causing a lot of damage. Recently, John Deere introduced a new applicator, um, and it's a diff totally different design. It's a rolling Coulter type of a design. Rather than a traditional knife that drags through the soil and cuts a slot, this has a rolling Coulter that cuts a slot, cuts the residue, and then a very thin little knife that's on, sort of like a scraper on the side of it where you apply the, the anhydrous ammonia. Another important difference is the traditional knife applicator has had to be uh, run deep enough <clears throat> that you could then seal back behind it to prevent the ammonia, which is a gas under pressure, from coming back up that slot. But there's so little disturbance with this rolling applicator, they're able to apply it at a shallower depth, which has some advantages from the standpoints of power requirement, the draft, to pull that applicator through the, through the field. So the question we have, our basic, basic hypothesis is, you know, can we use this applicator to apply nitrogen to a standing wheat crop? And at what time would we be best suited to do that? Early in the season when it's first greening up or later in the season, how late can we go? And uh, is there a difference in terms of how fast we go in terms of the amount of damage that's, that's being conducted? This plot has been, has been top dressed with traditional urea. If you'll notice, all the rows are pretty uniform, no damage from any of the application, and uh, this is what we're striving for. This one over here was top dressed with anhydrous ammonia at the same time. And if you look here, you can see this row right here, which is quite a bit thinner and lower. Uh, that's where the applicator went and caused some physical damage to the wheat and it has recovered but not nearly as well. But the interesting thing is notice how on either side of it the wheat has really responded. It's gotten more light down in there. So it's going to compensate for that openness in the canopy and produce higher yield. So the question is how is that going to balance out and what that long-term effect is going to be on yield. Last year when we did this, the yields were very similar, just slightly lower where we ran this through. If you look at this particular plot, this is again at Fiki's 5, the later stages, but it was done at a little bit higher speed, a little bit lower rate of nitrogen, and the damage is not nearly as severe. Um, there's some things we have to sort out yet about some of this, but uh, it's pretty interesting some of these trends that we're seeing. So in summary, um, what we're seeing at this point is it, it does appear to be feasible to use this type of an applicator and do use, make this type of an application. Uh, if I had to make some guesses of how the data will look long term, the earlier we do it, the better the soil conditions, the less damage that we'll end up having and the smaller the difference in yield is going to be. But it does appear to be a pretty feasible thing to do.